32N Universal Cutter Grinder. The motor base can swivel a full 360 degrees. There are two ways for mounting and dismounting wheel flange. With the first way, you just loosen off the Allen flange bolt counterclockwise and screw another bolt in clockwise to press the wheel off. The other way is to use the special flange cap nut wrench. To dismount a wheel, line the prongs up with the holes on the flange cap. A counterclockwise turn loosens it off with ease. And once the new wheel is on, just repeat the procedure to lock it in place. The main axle can be indexed positioned for swivel, tilt, and rotation. According to the index plate on the chuck, settings can be made for cutter types and bevels. Please refer to the operation manual for settings. Adjustment screw number 57 sets the cam and timing action. The center cam stop point is positioned like this. Center cam stop points would be installed inside and outside. The outside is for sharpening drill bits, and the inside is for sharpening deburring bits. Proper setup between the cam and stop points can professionally accomplish just about any sharpening task. To properly make the best use of this feature, please refer to the operations manual for details. This is the adjustment for cutters between 90 and 180 degrees. This is an example of cam action, outside dual cutting edge sharpening. For simultaneous dual edge sharpening, two center cam stop points must be employed outside. Here is an example of helical flute angle grinding. There's no need for center cam stops in this application. Index positioning. Center guide point sharpening. Index positioning. Here you can see stepped flute edge grinding. Here is H-shaped or spur point grinding. For this application, you need two center cam stops installed inside. You can also sharpen tapping bits. Three fluted taps require three center cam stops. Four fluted taps require four center cam stops installed inside. Here, we are sharpening three fluted countersink bits, which requires three center cam stops. Here, we are sharpening a single flute countersink bit, which requires one center cam stop and is installed outside. To sharpen end mills, you don't need a center cam stop. Mill cutter grinding is separated into cutting edge sharpening, flute angle, and center guide point sharpening. For details on angle settings and operation, please refer to the operation manual.